So I'm pretty excited. This is the first pair of John Lobb shoes that I've purchased. Uh, they are a casual pair um, and unlined. Uh, it's just something that I wanted to try out. I, I got them from a uh, reputable dealer through the Shoe Stomp Marketplace, and I'm excited. Hey, I've organized all my playlists on this channel so that you're able to easily find different types of shoes, different brands of shoes, as well as uh, finding all my shoe battles, uh, worth the price shoe reviews, etc., all in one place. Enjoy. Welcome back, everybody. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and uh, was not planning on doing a video now, but a pair of shoes that I ordered that was supposed to come in Friday uh, arrived in my house today. So um, rather than waiting and, uh, you know, looking at the shoes and then doing an unboxing video later, um, I thought I would um, just throw caution to the wind and, and, and not be uh, dressed up or anything like that, but, but actually um, just uh, record this now so that you guys can actually see my first impression of these shoes. Now, um, this is a older model or a custom model that is not currently available. Um, on the John Lobb website, um, you can see the model is here. Uh, it's a totally different makeup though. This uh, mine is gonna be in a, a, a different type of green leather. Uh, so, um, you know, just something to keep in mind there. I think the pricing is gonna be relatively the same as this. Um, if we look at John Lobb, I've never, this is my first pair of John Lobbs. Um, so uh, they are a, they have a very uh, cool storied history. Uh, most of you probably know that uh, the John Lobb Paris and John Lobb London actually split uh, a number of years ago and um, that uh, the John Lobb Paris uh, has the ready to wear line that is uh, still available. Uh, if uh, you know the, um, the pair that I got is definitely part of that. They are made in Northampton, uh, but they are um, part of uh, John Lobb Paris. Uh, both John Lobb Paris and John Lobb London both have beautiful, wonderful uh, bespoke outfits uh, still going. Uh, but to my knowledge, and please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, John Lobb London does not have any ready to wear shoes. Uh, so um, very, um, you know, this is a, 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 a very nice high-end brand and uh, this is my first experience with them. So um, we'll just uh, go ahead and get started here um, and, uh, and see what it is. So first, uh, the packaging was really just the box wrapped in plastic taped, okay? So nothing uh, super fancy. The box itself, um, while it's a sturdy box, uh, does not have any adornment, any writing. It has one sticker and that is it. Yes, no frills, okay? They, that, which hopefully means that they just spent all their effort on the shoes, okay? So we open this up. Um, and there's some packing paper. And what do we have? We have a, an envelope, uh, which has extra laces in it. Um, and then we have a John Lobb book, which is uh, care and maintenance. Um, and is uh, um, in French um, and in Japanese. So English, French, and Japanese. Um, we'll do this here so you can actually see it. Um, it is not uh, especially detailed and it's not, uh, it's not uh, anything new to any of the shoe aficionados that, uh, that we know. Um, now I thought I had read on, on the description of these that they came with trees. There are no trees in them, so I will have to write to the uh, uh, write to the to the seller. Uh, but this is the drift that I purchased. Okay, so it's not on crepe soles either. This is on 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 leather soles, and it has this really cool um, textured leather, which is um, very nice. So uh, just a beautiful shoe. And um, I 
push the other. Uh, this is online. So it is uh, more of a summer style, I'll say, but um, definitely casual, unstructured, um, but has a, a, a reinforced toe, very solid reinforced heel. And um, if you look on the inside there, you can see um, when, when we say unlined, that's what we mean. So it has the lining on the edge, and then on the inside, it is unlined. Right. So you, and it feels like a suede on the inside. And then this is the, uh, the reversed with, uh, with those uh, textures. So this isn't really a scotch grain. It's not really a pebble grain. Um, they're, they're, it's kind of a big texture. Um, so, um, and I'll have to go back and, and look at it to see what it, uh, what it was called. But, but that is the shoe. So my first exposure to John Lobb, um, I found these on the Shoe Snob Marketplace. And, um, you know, I looked at uh, the comments on a number of different sizes for the same shoe. Um, so, um, you know, it may not have been a comment on these shoes. Um, and I did, um, I did make a lowball offer. Um, and that may be why they decided not to send the trees. Uh, but, uh, you know, I definitely saw that out there. So I'll need to, uh, need to investigate. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and uh, have a wonderful day. Thanks.